Bond here. Good morning, 007. I know we promised you a week's holiday after Athens, but we have a situation developing that requires immediate attention. Are you free to speak? Yes, I can talk. I'm in a hotel. I should be online in a moment. There you are. How much do you know about Midhurst Laboratories? Biotech firm, publicly traded, City of London, military contractor. But not just any military contractor. Two years ago, Midhurst Laboratories signed a contract for some mission-critical biotechnology for our defence forces that's so secret I'm loath to discuss it even on this link. I understand. Good. Last week, one of their senior researchers, Malcolm Tedworth, went missing from his yacht in the English Channel. At first, the Royal Navy presumed he was dead. His boat was discovered capsized after a squall off the coast. But this morning, we received a tip that he's alive and about to sell that research to a buyer in Istanbul. How reliable is the information? Doubtful. An anonymous caller from a cell phone purchased at a convenience store in Madrid. The phone went dead. But soon after, the US Echelon system picked up another cell phone transmission near a construction site in downtown Istanbul using the keywords researcher, bioweapons, and password. It might be a trap, a setup. Any chance that it's the researcher himself, hang of conscience, second thoughts about selling out the UK? That's why the helicopter is landing outside your hotel. There'll be a jet waiting at the airport. And when you arrive in Istanbul, do whatever you have to, by any means necessary, to find out who's behind this and make sure that research doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Hey guys, welcome to part two of Let's Play 007 Bloodstone. Good morning, 007. We located the cell phone that the Echelon system found and tracked it to the opening of an ancient catacomb beneath this construction site. We lost the signal when it went below ground, but you may be able to pick it up again once you get into the catacombs. View branch and transmission. So we're in the city of Istanbul right now to look for Professor Tatworth at this construction site here. So let's check out what adventure awaits Bond over here. You! Stop! Where do you think you're going? Dr. Bond. British Museum. Architectural Heritage Foundation. Here to study your preservation efforts. Nah. You can call the Turkish Ministry of Culture. I don't care. Nobody goes down there. Without a hard hat. Of course. Safety first. <laughs> Always like when he throws that helmet away. This construction site marks the point we lost Tedworth's signal. We need to find out if he's still friendly or working with our enemies. Use your smartphone to search for evidence. So that introduces us to the smartphone. Bond can use it to swipe for chicks on Tinder and post tweets and stuff. Nah, it shows points of interest and Bond can also use it to hack into systems and stuff like that. So right now we see a piece of evidence here. So what we want to do is scan this. Just like that. We've cloned that computer's hard drive. I'll pass it on to our analysts. Continue searching the area. Oof. Imagine being able to scan an entire hard drive in a matter of seconds just like that. It's actually quite scary. I mean, the amount of nudes that would leak. Second piece of evidence here. I'm gonna scan that too. Dr. Bond, the foreman is ready to meet you. Please wait for him in the far cabin. Come this way. So we're just gonna follow this guy along to the next cabin. That little intro cutscene we just saw at the beginning, again, really reminiscent of Quantum of Solace, especially when the mission briefing gets explained and you see all the graphics on the computer. That's completely taken from the movie. I enjoy this game a lot more than Quantum of Solace though. Alright, scanning number three. BAM! Q was out an action scene! Now!
Right, let's get out of here. How did these guys not see me go out of there, though, and just land right behind them? Oh, well. We'll take care of this dude. Obviously, they're completely oblivious. I'm gonna shoot the other one. Actually, you know what? It's more fun to just do this. Got another focus aim for it, too. Right, now, if you're new to this game... Uh, and you want to collect the eight pieces of intelligence. Uh, wait, let's see. Yeah, here they are. Uh, intelligence. They're scattered in every level. In this level, there are eight. Uh, you can find number one over here. I already completed all of them in my game. Uh, but you want to scan this uh, little briefcase here. So, uh, using your smartphone, obviously. And then you can scan it just like you did with the uh, pieces of evidence early on. Those are the collectibles in the game, basically. I'm gonna try and show you the other seven as well, just for the sake of completion. Right, now we want to be stealthy here, because I love to be sneaky bond. The smartphone also shows you the locations of the goons, uh, which is pretty neat. And they always seem to walk right towards you. So we're just gonna grab this dude like this. There we go. See if we can make our way into as silent as possible. I always like that challenge. Right, now we can pop this dude right over here. But I think I'll run into the risk that the other gods will see his body. So we're just going to do it even more safe. Just like this. There's another guard coming. So we want to go around the corner. And sweet dreams. Looks like we're safe. Now with this dude, I can aim for the gas canisters and wreak havoc, but I want to be quiet, so I'll just pop him in his head like this. Okay, that guy might see the body, so let's just take him out. Shh, be quiet! I think I'm still undetected. Yeah. You can always tell by the music. So, another one. There's another gas canister you can shoot there, but, um. You know what? I may as well go for the focus aims. I think there are like three goons here. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. More gas canisters that you could have shot here if you wanted to. So the phone tells me to go there, even if you look this way, the phone will automatically kind of point you towards this point of interest. So, um, yeah, we're gonna just jump there. And uh, we're just gonna shoot in and out. <laughs> Classic Bond. Tana, I'm headed for the catacombs. Right, so we have to find our way into the catacombs. I actually always really liked this level. Most of the levels in this game, actually. They're all pretty fun. You get to use the stealth or just wreak havoc. It's always cool to control Bond, too. Oh yeah, you also want to pick up another piece of intelligence. Uh, number two by scanning that little piece of what is it like paper or a notepad right over here on the floor scan that one there's also a free gun here all right so we're going to continue uh, and try and remain on the path of stealth because i always prefer that to wreaking havoc to just uh, try and get in sneakily without being detected so the smartphone shows you where you need to go, mostly. There's some more guards here, so we want to be quiet. So these clowns are torturing some dude here. Okay, 
Well, actually, he's pretty damn dead, but they tortured him first. These guys just keep on talking, though. It takes forever. Of course, you can just shoot them with your gun if you want, but I prefer to just kick the shit out of them. It awards you with the focus aims too. So let's do the other one. There we go. Now you want to scan Mr. Dead Dude too. That's the third piece of intel here. Imagine just being able to scan people and get all kinds of info on them. I mean, how useful would that be from people you forgot about? Like yeah, you used to go to high school with this chick and... You had biology class together and she borrowed your pencil. You occasionally banged her in the cafeteria too. You know, stuff like that would be really useful to remember with your smartphone. Luckily Bond's phone is able to do it. We're gonna continue the sneaky Bond stuff. More of the goons will be coming here. And again, in this game they always just seem to go right towards you. And be completely oblivious about it. What's up buddy? There we go. Right, let's go for the other guy now. You want to take the other guy out there too? Yeah, focus aim. There we go. Okay. I don't think there's anything here. Again, I'm still getting in sneakily, but you could have also, you know, shot those gas canisters and set off some explosions if you want to be the loud guy. What I like about this game, yo, depends on your mood. The Englishman? Yeah, he's still not talking to the boss. I'm tired of being stuck in these tunnels. It shouldn't be too long now. Right, we can take out these two guys as well. Just want to sneak up to them. First, the guy with the crane. Ha! <laughs> awesome Connery job Craig did there. Here, you want to scan this laptop in the corner for your piece of intel number four. Oh shit. Gotta take these guys out then. There we go. Screw it. Let's do it this way then. More gas canisters here. There's also a piece of intel here that's very easy to miss. It's that tiny phone on the ground there. You want to scan that one. That's number five. Okay. Now we're going to continue our objective, which is to uh, change the... Uh, the real like that right so obviously you can't be sneaky bond from this point so we're gonna have to jump into some action you can aim from the canisters up there cause a huge explosion in the pit I think that awards you with an achievement or a trophy too depending on what console you play on Die, little man. There you go. Okay. Okay, that guy doesn't see me. Could sneak up to him at least. Little Roger Moore judo here. Any more guys coming? Okay, looks like we're safe. I'm pretty sure there's a shit ton of them on the corner though. This time we're gonna aim for the gas canisters, just like that. Eh, ah, let's just pop another one. Right there.
Okay, that takes care of these guys. We're still nowhere near the end of this mission though. This is a long level. So, uh, let's see what awaits us. All aboard the hype train. There we are. It's very quiet down here. Too quiet. Tana, I'm in the catacombs. See if you can patch me into Tedworth's signal. Got it. Bring up your phone and it will give you Tedworth's position. Should lead you right to him. Right, so if we checked our phone, we can see that that word is pretty nearby, but we still got a long way to go to reach this dude. <laughs> I've always liked this, this bit of the mission. I remember the first time playing this, being really surprised with what is about to come up here. It's a true silence before the storm kind of thing. Oh shit. Now you want to be fast here, get the hell out of there. Because that thing will kill you. Jesus Bond, climb! There we go. Yeah, this thing is getting close. There we go, just keep on running. And we gotta jump onto this ledge. We'll quickly make our way over. There we go. We're almost there now. Let's jump to this window. And there we go. Whew. I would have completely been killed had that been me. Luckily we're playing as Bond though. Just holding. Some rubble is coming down, but otherwise it's dead in here. Any sign of the body? Nothing I can see. But I wouldn't expect there to be much left of him. Understood. Stay and keep watch. Copy that. Wrong expectations, buddy. You want to scan this laptop for your piece of intel number six? Okay, let's continue. I don't think there are any goons out here, but... There are over here, though. Now, this is a section of the level I never really got through in a stealthy way. I mean, I'm sure it's possible. In some way. But, yeah. Even if you shoot this guard here with a silenced pistol, the guys will notice. So, you may as well do this. And start doing this. I think sometimes guys can appear from behind here. I remember playing this years ago and some guy would always sneak up to me here. I would miss someone. I don't think someone's out there though. So I'm just gonna move forward. Take care of these dudes. I keep getting the feeling someone could appear from there but... Eh. Maybe it was the, the other difficulty settings. I don't know. Alright. By the looks of the music, there's still more guys around. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of them on the corner here. Shit. go I could go for the focus aims actually but don't want to waste too much of them oh crap where did that come from shit shit see there is a guy from behind here 
sneaky bastard. Right. There we go. Yeah, that takes care of these guys. Still moving forward. Still making our ways to the catacombs. Oh, yeah, there's no corner there. Come on, Petworth, on your feet. Right, so we're reaching Tatworth here. We'll see about that. Now move. So they're taking Tatworth around the corner. Before you go there, though, another piece of intel here. Another dead dude you want to scan. Lots of dead dudes scanning here in this game. Love the music here when that guy walks up to you. Just quickly taking care of him. I'm always so surprised how these guys just don't notice that stuff. Lucky me though. More guys there. Two more. Bless you. Don't gather reinforcements. We should still be safe. So here's another prisoner. This is not that word yet, but some other guy that we uh, come on. want to talk to. Who did this to you? Bernin. Uh, his name is Bernin. Uh, he wanted my research, my formulas for bioweapons. We've got to get you out of here. I'll never make it. The only way is to climb out. But it's not too late. Maybe you can still save Tedworth. Alright, not saving him then. So we can make our way out of here through that bed. So he was talking about some Bernin dude. And in this game it's really confusing who the main villain is. Like every time I think, oh, so that's the main villain. And then it turns out to be someone else. And I'm like, oh, that's the one. No, no, someone else. It's really confusing in this game. Again, very reminiscent of Quantum of Solace. Where, fair enough, I do know who the main villain is. But he's far from memorable. Some chatting going on about Bernin. There's quite some build up to this dude too. But I honestly, I can barely remember him. Or any of the characters in this game because... Well, the Bond girl, she's memorable, but other than that... All the other people are very forgettable. It's still a good game though. Love the gameplay to this. <sighs> Come on Bond, you're wasting time. Yeah, I'm really in better safe than sorry mode here for no reason. This next section coming up. I'm not sure if you can do this undetected. Maybe you can do it, but I've never managed it. Like, you can take these two clowns down, but all the other people will notice, so... Last mode it is. Right. Definitely aiming for the gas canisters here. There we go. Reload, damn it. Right, got this one. There's another guy coming. They really should have aimed at the gas canisters if they wanted to get me, but luckily they're not that smart. Jesus! Right, we want to take out the grenade launchers. Whoever it was, one of those two. Okay. Oh, another one. What is that guy doing? Take care of this guy. Let's keep going. This is the grenade launcher. I'm not picking that one up. I think it's, there's only one grenade in there and can't be bothered to use it. Um, we're gonna go up here. Let's see. 
Any goons coming this way? Yeah, they are. Don't have that much bullets left. I oh, still got one. Magazine. There we go. Okay. Now, coming up, here is your final piece of intel for this level. Number 8, that laptop over there. Oh, great. Another grenade launcher. I think. Where is this guy? There he is. See, that's a cool trick you can do. You can use your focus aim without actually shooting it, just to know where the guy is at, and then you use your regular shooting without wasting your uh, focus aim. I remember doing that trick a lot back in the day. There we go. We're reaching the end of the line now, finally. This is a long level. We've almost been at it for 30 minutes. Great, another grenade launcher. Got him. Oh crap, there's another one. Really need to take cover here. Gotta regenerate here. Where is this guy? Oh Jesus, he's next to me! Take him out! Alright. Any more enemies? Good. Looks like I took care of them. We've made it through the catacombs. Now to get to the final bit. Tanner, what do we have on a man named Vernon? Hold on, I'm doing the search. Here it is. Vernon, low-level gangster, a middleman. If he's got Ted Worth's research, he probably won't be holding onto it for long. Right, this should be the end of the line for this level, guys. Uh, I'll finish this video off with the cutscene coming up. Please like and subscribe, follow me on social media, and if you want to go the extra mile, Please take a look at my Patreon page for early access and that kind of stuff. Take care, guys. What is the password for the USB drive? Tell me the key to crack the code! Stop! Stop! I'll tell you. Thank you. Kill him! Let's get out of here! <laughs>